we are going to study the major phase of cell cycle that is interphase. Interphase is also called as preparatory phase. It is also called as intermitotic phase. Now why it is called as preparatory phase? It is called as preparatory phase because before cell divide, cell prepares itself. So when the cell is getting prepared, that phase is called as preparatory phase. Now why it is called as intermitotic phase? It is called as intermitotic phase because it occurs between two successive mitotic or M phase. So one, one M phase completed in between interphase, then comes another M phase. That is why it is also called as intermitotic phase. Now let's see how these phases are divided. Interphase is divided into three subphases and the name of the three subphases you already know is G1, S and G2 phase. G1 means first growth phase, S means synthesizing phase, G2 means second growth phase. G also stands for gap phase. So G1 means gap 1 phase, G2 means gap 2 phase. Now two important thing happens in interphase apart from other thing. And the two important thing is cell grow and synthesis of important chemical takes place. Now which is the most important chemical of our body? It is DNA or nucleic acid. So these are the two important things happening in interphase. Now let's see how these phases are completed. Speaking about G1 phase. In case of G1 phase, the cell prepares by synthesizing ATP and protein and also organal proliferation takes place. required for energy definitely cell division is a process it need energy protein synthesis or proteins are required for formation of daughter cells and organal proliferation means before the cell completely gets divided the organelles get divided or the organelles duplicate and they move towards the border side the process is called as organ proliferation. Now speaking about S phase student, S phase is the most important phase. Why it is most important phase? Because important chemical is going to be synthesized. Now you know that which is that important chemical. So the name of that important chemical is DNA. DNA duplication or DNA replication takes place in S phase. Now speaking about G2 phase. G2 phase is a phase for remaining growth. Remaining growth means if something is left to be synthesized or something is left to be carried out in G1 phase, that particular thing is covered up in G2 phase. So over there you can say remaining proteins are synthesized. Especially the spindle proteins are synthesized. And also RNA are synthesized. RNA helps in protein synthesis for later purpose. Now so these are the phases of interphase. But sometimes what happens, cell after completing G1, instead of going in S phase, 
it enters into totally different phase and that totally different phase is called as G0 phase or G0 phase. Now why it is called as G0, G0 or it is also called as quiescent or dormant phase. Why cell need to enter this phase? Sometimes what happens, cell does not have a favorable condition to continue with the process and that is why cell enter G0 phase. What happens in G0 phase, the cell stop its activity temporarily not permanent. Now students just imagine if cell doesn't enter G0 phase then what will happen to the cell? Cell will grow rapidly or the division will be carried out very rapid and that will result into formation of tumor and you all know tumor finally results into cancer. So this is the main cause of cancer. So it's very necessary for the cell to enter G0 phase at some time interval. So today here we completed the next topic that is interphase. Thank you very much student.